Kate Edwards from Cooking with Kimberly, and this is Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pi. Now today, I know I'm always talking to you college students out there, and I'm going to tell you, you need breakfast. Breakfast needs to wake you up in the morning, get you started, and give you breakthroughs all day long so that you can have energy and keep going. Anyways, it'll get you started. It may not keep you going because sometimes it falls off your bones in a couple of hours, but it at least it'll get you going. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about oatmeal. I know that sounds super boring, uber boring, but guess what? Oatmeal is cheap and it's quick. And when you are struggling to get out of the house really super fast because you'd rather sleep in an extra 10 minutes, how do you think I know that? Because I remember. Um, so it's cheap, right? It's fast. This can be done in three to five minutes. In fact, it can be done faster, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do it on the stove top. You don't have to do it on the stove top. You can do it in the microwave as well, and you can also pour hot water on it. Now, quick oats are very versatile, and that's why I'm talking to you about them, but I don't want you to just eat oats and water. Ew, boo, boring, okay? So instead of using water, I'm gonna use a little bit of water, and I'm also gonna use tea. I drink tea in the morning anyway. Why not get a caffeine shot? You could also use coffee if you want to, if you're really into that. Um, I don't know. Why not? Why wouldn't you? You're going to eat it all together anyway. My grandfather, when he was older, I know this is kind of an interesting story, but it sort of has something to do with it. He, um, he had Parkinson's and he shook. And when he ate breakfast in the morning, he lived with us. And when he ate breakfast in the morning, sometimes he would just give up trying to drink his coffee. He had a straw and he would just pour his coffee in his oatmeal because it was just way too much drama and effort. So this saved him a whole bunch of time. And he'd eat it just like that with the coffee and the oatmeal. And so I always remember that. And when I make oatmeal, I kind of go along with that. And I, I always put tea in. I cook a lot with tea and I bake a lot with tea. Make sure you check out my channel and see all the interesting things you can do with tea that you didn't know. So today we're gonna use tea. We're gonna get that little bit of extra boost of caffeine in the morning. I'm on the stove top, I'm putting one and a half cups. Now I have one cup of, of tea and I have half a cup of water, okay? I'm actually doing just a one serving portion today. I'm not doing more than one, this is just for me, okay? So I've got three quarters of a cup of these quick oats measured out, okay? Simple stuff. If you want to double it, use three cups of water and use one and a half cups of oats if you want to cook for more than one person. Now into this water, I want this water to boil. Um, I'm going to bring this to a boil. Well, I'm also going to put some salt in. Now this stuff, it says to use half a teaspoon of salt for that, for like three cups of water, okay? To me, that's just too much. I have too much sodium in my diet. I think most people have too much sodium in their diet and I'm always trying to find ways to cut out that sodium. So. Today I am going to put salt in, but it's not going to be nearly as much. And it's also going to be a little bit more mild than my other salts have been. Um, so today I'm going to use a Dragaria salt. This is a Mediterranean sea salt. Why not, right? I like it. So I'm just going to actually grind a couple of grinds of salt in there, and that's all you need. Now the salt is going to pick up anything that you put in that's sweet. And I know that kind of sounds maybe counterintuitive, and you may have never heard that before. But salt, if you put a little bit of, that's why you put salt in baked goods and things like that. Because most baked goods are, well, the sweet baked goods, you put that in. Sweet baked goods are just that. They're sweet, but why would you put salt in? Well, the salt actually enhances that little bit of sweet flavor. If you didn't have that salt in there, it'd be like kind of more bland. If you, if you don't believe me, that's really what it is. So I'm also going to talk to you more about what I'm putting into this oatmeal. Since I'm, tea's not the only thing that's making this stuff exciting. I want a breakthrough, right? So I'm going to put some really healthy berries in, some blueberries, darker the berry, sweet of the juice people. So the darker the berry, the more antioxidants there are in there, really exciting stuff in there, blackberries, blueberries, I'm using black blueberries today because that just happens to be what I have. I actually had some jackfruit yesterday, I put that in oatmeal and it was delicious, so if you want to use jackfruit, the sky's the limit guys, okay? I'm also going to put some agave nectar in here. Um, usually I would put some brown sugar, everyone likes brown sugar in their, in their oatmeal, but no one really thinks of agave nectar, so I want you guys to think out of the box. Agave nectar is a sweetener, and it's not sugar. Got me? So you can use this as an alternative. You can find it at your health food stores. Some grocery stores carry it. Um, and that's that. I'm also going to put some bee pollen on top. Now that bee pollen, also you can find this at the health food store. Don't be scared. I know it sounds like a scary thing. It's really not that scary. Bee pollen is just like any other bee product. It helps with your immune system. Um, and that's a big reason why I'm putting it, I put it on my stuff. I put it in my yogurts and my, you know, on top of salads and I in my oatmeal, things of that nature. 
Okay, so my water has boiled, okay? My water and tea has boiled. Now, if you wanted a, sm a smoother oatmeal, what you could do is put the oatmeal and the liquid in cold and let it go from there, and that will kind of make it a more smooth. I don't, I don't like it more smooth. It just is like lumpy and too homogenous for me. I like a little something, something in there. Got me? So this is coming to a boil. It has that salt in. I'm going to put this in, okay? And here goes my oatmeal. I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Use yourself a wooden spoon. Stir that in, okay? Now, I'm going to reduce that heat down to a medium low on my gas stove. If you're on, um, on a flat top stove, by all means, turn that down all the way to low. And I'm gonna cover it, because I wanna keep that liquid in. I don't want that liquid to just evaporate. Now, my berries are gonna go in right at the end, because I don't want them all like bursting and popping and everything's going to be blue and purple and that's not what I wanted. I wanted, you know, little bursts of blueberries and that's it. So it's going to go in after. They're very delicate. Don't mess with them. Now, and then I'm going to sprinkle this on top and I'm going to put this in. Okay. But I've got one more exciting thing for you guys. Now I have this little, these cool little frying pans. If you don't have them, I wish you would find them somewhere. They're awesome. I love these. I use them all the time. I have about a tablespoon. I won't even need that much, but I'm putting a tablespoon of black sesame seeds. Now you can use any other kind of seed you want. You can use regular sesame seeds. You can use chia seeds, sunflower seeds, whatever. You can use nuts if you want. You can use dried fruits if you want. Today I'm using black sesame seeds. I use a lot of sesame seed. In fact, I use a lot of black sesame seed. Black sesame seed is good for me. So says one of my doctors, it's good for me, so I'm eating it. Anything that's black or blue or dark in color, very high in all kinds of minerals and nutrients you don't get in other places. Now this is going to go for three to five minutes. We've gone for about a minute. I'm going to put another, you know, three minutes on my timer. I'm going to stir this up, make sure everything's okay. All still looks well. How awesome are quick oats, right? So this kind of makes your regular old plain old oatmeal a little more exciting. So into this pan goes my, my sesame seeds, and I'm just going to toast them. Now, be careful with these black sesame seeds because you can't tell when they're toasted. They're black, okay? Yeah. Toasted, usually you just get like a nice golden brown color on them, and you can tell when you've got the lighter seeds, but these are black. So you kind of got to estimate. You're going to use other senses. You're going to use your olfactory senses, your smeller, and you want to know when it smells a little bit nutty, a little bit, you know, you're going to smell them, but you don't want them burning. As soon as you start smelling them be very fragrant, you're taking it off because I it's just not worth burning these suckers because you just can't tell. So you're just going to move them around in this dry pan. You don't want any oil in here. You just want to toast them. You can throw them in just regular, but this gives a little bit more, you know, Something, something. Plus, I'm sitting here for another couple minutes. Why not do that while I'm waiting, right? Big deal. You're wait drinking your tea is exactly what I'm doing. So there you go. Get yourself a bowl and a spoon ready. And we'll be right back in a couple minutes when this is looking better. Okay, you're babysitting kind of closely. You're going to check these seeds every, like, you know, 10, 15 seconds. You're going to come around. You know, you're doing stuff. You're going to come over here and you're going to shake them again. Until you smell it. Now I'm seeing a little bit of moisture come out, and that's good. It's exactly what I want. I'm smelling a little bit of that the seeds. I can also hear them in the pan. So use your your ears as well. And they're a little bit popping. So they're done. I'm done with these. I can't tell how much further they can go. So that's that. And they still look the same. They just look like black, but they're a little bit toasted. Those oils have come out. Everything's gonna be lovely. So I'm just gonna set this to the side right here. All right, my oatmeal is almost done. I've got, there's my timer. All right, you guys can do this for breakfast. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm gonna let that go for another maybe minute. With the um, pot open, sometimes there's a little bit extra water. You just never know what batch you've got of your oatmeal. I don't like it really liquidy, and I also like to add milk to it, which I'm going to do. So, you know, if you wanna evaporate a little more water, do so, and that's what I'm gonna do. Probably another minute or so. So that's it. That's all. Get myself something to put this on. I talk to y'all. All right. Oatmeal has a, a beautiful quality of really being able to soak up a lot of water. So oatmeal is great for uh, your the water content you're getting. You're also getting fiber. It's going to stick to your bones a little bit, get you moving in the morning. Plus, you get to add all these cool things and flavor it however the heck you want. You could do this every day and not get tired of it. Like, really. I know you guys, college students, get tired of the same things and everything. You gotta use the things that are inexpensive and quick. 
And so don't get bored of your oatmeal. Be patient. Just try different things in it. You'll, you'll enjoy this. This is fun. Okay, this looks good. I don't need a whole extra. Oh, there's the whole minute. There's my timer. All right, over to here we go. And we're gonna finish this off. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off with a pat of butter. What's better than butter? Nothing. I want a little bit of butter. If you want to use margarine, go ahead. I don't ever suggest using margarine because it's got things in it that aren't natural, and I don't want that. I'd rather eat butter. So butter's going in, and I'm going to put maybe. A tablespoon and a half of milk. You don't have to add milk if you don't want to. You can add cream if you want to, but hey, we don't need a whole lot of calories in here either. I know I put the butter in there. Relax. We like butter, but I don't need a whole bunch of extra cream and things like that. Now, if you don't want to add cream, don't bother. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. So into my bowl goes my oatmeal. Looks lovely. I'm very excited. I put way too much in there. See, this is even way too much for me. So if you're still hungry afterwards, you even have a little bit extra to go. All right. So I don't need a great big spoon like that, that's for sure. All right. We're going to sweeten it up. We're going to sweeten it up. You can use sugar if you want to. You can use maple syrup if you want. But an agave nectar is where we're going with it today. A little bit of agave nectar. I'm going to dump in these blueberries that look so lovely. Blueberries. I'm stirring. Stir, stir, stir. That looks gorgeous. Why not? It's kind of like a blueberry pie in the morning with all kinds of extra hints of great things for you. On to it goes some beef on. Some healthy stuff. Plus it tastes good. It's a little, it tastes a little bit like honey. You know what I mean? On to it, I'm going to spread with some of these seeds. Seeds are great for you. A little bit of protein as well. Awesome. So you got blueberries, you got blackberries, you got bee pollen. I guess everything has a bee in it except the agave nectar. And this here is what it looks like. You want some of that? I'll tell you what. You might need some more agave, but we're gonna try this out and see how it goes. Mm. I love the blueberries. Mm. The bee pollen just makes me know I'm doing great things for myself, as well as the sesame seeds. I love those sesame seeds in there. It gives just a little bit of texture, a little bit of something different. Kind of looks like poppy seeds. Poppy seeds would be beautiful in here as well. Now, experiment with the fruit. Fresh, frozen, dried, whatever. Try different things. You can use nuts. You can use seeds. You can... Come on. I've even put bacon and eggs inside of my oatmeal and mixed it all up. Kind of like how I do my grits. Man, you can really, you can really do something with this. Also, don't forget, if you don't like sweet stuff so much, you can go savory with your oatmeal. Did you know that? Oatmeal is very neutral. So you can add like peppers and mushrooms if you wanted to and put some, you know, scrambled egg and put maybe some sausage and mix it all in together. Why not? You can do something like that. Treat it such as you would like grits, something like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Anyway. That's my way to keep breakfast kind of interesting in the mornings. Breakfast is tough. Try and do it better. That's all. All right, everybody, make sure you check out Alpha Beta Pi. It's at alphabetapie.com. Shout out to you, Jules. And uh, that's it. That's all. I hope you guys try out this breakthrough breakfast oatmeal recipe. I don't even know what to call it. I guess that's what we'll call it. Breakthrough breakfast oatmeal. And that's how you do it. So I hope you guys follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. All my shows are on youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. Again, check out alphabetapie.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye, everybody. It's not the same Tell me who you're looking at, you do this to yourself